so I'm back in Azure AI Foundry in my AI webinar demo project. And the first thing I need to do is add a model. So I'll go to models and endpoints. I'm going to pick deploy model. We did this earlier with 5.4. Pick a base model. I need an embedding model. So for this, I'm going to choose text embeddings ADA002, which is a great model for this scenario. So I'm just going to confirm and deploy the model with the default going to the same region as everything else I've done. So here's the information about the model. And now I need to add the data. Now for this demo, I'm going to add the data to AI Foundry. When you create an AI Foundry project, you get Azure Blob Storage with it. It deploys it to Azure, it's the workspace blob store. And I've uploaded a bunch of Craftsman manuals, about a gigabyte of them to blob storage. And so here they are. Here they are. I downloaded these from the Internet Archive. So they're already in blob storage that Azure AI Foundry created for me. And I'm going to create this connection and choose that path and hit next and then just name it manuals. And I'm doing this just to show you that you can add the, the data to the model here. And now I'm going to go in and add the index. And so I'm going to create a new index. And I'm going to choose my data in AI, AI, Azure AI Foundry. I could use connection directly to Blob Store. I'm going to pick manuals here. And now I need an Azure AI search service. And I don't have one yet. So I'm going to create a new AI search resource. So clicking that will take me to the Azure portal. And that's where I can create an Azure AI search service. So I entered in the information about it. And I'm accepting the defaults. And we'll just look at that deployment going. It doesn't take very long, just it took about 20 seconds, I believe. So the deployment's in progress. All right, back to Azure AI Foundry. I'm going to connect to that resource, add a connection, I'll copy and paste information that it requires about it, named it manuals vector, and it has the embedding model chosen for me because I, on I only had that embedding model available in my models and endpoints. If I had multiple, then I would have had to pick it. So now I'm going to create the vector index, and this is going to index all of the files that I uploaded to that blob storage. And in this case, that took about 45 minutes, which really wasn't too bad for all of the chunking and ranking and filtering and stuff that it needed to do. So now it's done. I'm back in Copilot Studio. I'll go to the Knowledge tab in my Marion agent, click Add Knowledge. I'm picking Azure AI Search. Now I need to create a connection from Copilot Studio to Azure AI Search. I'm adding the endpoint URL and the admin key. Wait a little bit. And the connection is now live. I just need to wait for it to finalize everything, and then I can add it to the agent. Great, there it is. So I'll add the manuals vector to the agent, and I'm good to go with that. Awesome. So we'll just click into that and see what we can do here. I like to update the, the description just you know for a best practice. So it's about craftsman tools, and I'm going to save that. So I'll ask the agent again, how do I store the bottle jack? Also, I disabled the topic with the custom prompt because I wanted to use the knowledge source with the text embedding. And look at that, the, the results are, are much different. This looks like it matches what's in the manual. Let's take a look. Yep, and it matches what's in the manual, which is what I expected. And also includes some maintenance tips that it found in the manual as well. Very, very useful. And that's bring your own index with Azure AI Foundry and Copilot Studio.